In this example problem, we have a robot that is programmed so that the velocity changes in the x direction by the function given here. So velocity of the function t is equal to 2 meters per second cubed times time squared minus 4 meters per second squared times t. And we want to know what the position of the robot is at t equal 1.5 seconds if at t0 the robot was at 2 meters. All right, so I'm looking at the idea of the change in position in the x direction, because I'm saying that the velocity is in the x direction, is equal to the integral from t initial to t final of our velocity function in terms of t. And I know I need to integrate because this is a function, and I want to find position, which means integrate. If I was asked about acceleration, I would take the derivative. All right, so I am subbing in my times. And this is the function I'm plugging in here. Notice I dropped the units. You just carry the units through, so it's a lot cleaner to do the integration. It looks like a math problem again. If you pull the units out, and then at the end you can put the units back in. All right. So now I've integrated. So our integral is going to be 2 thirds t cubed minus 2 times t squared. And we're going to evaluate from 0 seconds to 1.5 seconds. All right, so when I plug that in, I get 2 thirds times 1.5 cubed minus 2 times 1.5 squared. I don't plug in the zero here because t cubed or zero cubed is zero, t squared, so zero squared is zero, zero minus zero is zero. So essentially we would be subtracting zero off. All right, so that gives us a negative 2.25 meters. And remember, this is the change of position. So we know that the robot went backwards in the x direction 2.25 meters. So plugging in the initial direction, we find that the position of the robot is negative 0.25 meters. So let me sort of draw that concept because the fact we got a negative number is a little confusing. So the robot starts out at 2 meters from some zero point. And so the robot goes backwards 2.25 meters. So we're really looking at this minus this, and this is where, if this is our zero point here, this is how we get a position of negative 2.5 meters. And just to show you how the units worked out, this two thirds out here would have had units of meters per second cubed. And we're going to take that times seconds cubed, because the 1.5 has units of seconds, and we're going to cube them, which leaves us with units of meters, which matches the position. And we're see something similar here, where the 2, which came from this term up here, would have units of meters per second squared. And we're going to multiply that by, this would be seconds in here, so seconds squared which also leads to units of meters. So we're taking units of meters minus units of meters, which is allowable, and what we expect because position usually has units of meters.